Hey guys, Dan and Dave here from the Gamer Shelter uh, with a bunch more facts on Battlefield 4 from Gamescom. Uh, all taking place in Paracel Storm and everything we've seen from there. Just a lot of more uh, things that we've noticed. Something that honestly doesn't matter, but I just wanted to state right off the fact. Is anyone from Battlefield uh, Battlefield 2? I know I came from it. Uh, this map, I just I saw it and I immediately was like, wait a minute, I know this. And I went back and I looked at uh, Operation Clean Sweep. If anyone remembers that map, they just they they have a very similar look, and I loved that map. So I'm I'm really glad to see something similar come here with all the islands and uh, destructible bridges and just everything. It's really cool. Um, but we're going to talk a, a lot about everything that we've seen, a bunch of new stuff. So first of all, let's go into the basics. Uh, Dave, what does the map look like? It's It kind of reminds me of, you know, this is just me coming from Battlefield 3, but it reminds me of the very first time I saw it, I saw a helicopter flying over that wooden bridge, and I was like, those fucking bastards are bringing back Wake Island. I'm fucking freaking out right now. It's like, fuck you guys. But no, it's it's, it's kind of like tropical islands with bridges in between, and it, the islands are close enough together that you can swim to them, but it's probably not advised because you're pretty much a free target when you're in the water. What it looks like. Kinda. But yeah, it's a tropical island with some bridges, some, you know, ships scattered around the map with a, a destroyed carrier, is it then? An aircraft carrier sunk into the... Pretty sure for it one is. of the flags, was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah, so... It didn't seem to be one of the bigger maps. Yeah, no one... I, I wonder if... It's because most of Gamescom footage was uh, obliteration, right? M maybe. So, maybe. the sunken aircraft carrier might have just been a conquest thing, and we didn't see too much of that. So, that might have been what it was. Uh... But just it's it's awesome. It's an awesome looking map, especially with the weather change that they've been showing off. With uh, I I know I saw a video of a guy flying a helicopter, and it's like it's all peaceful, and then you just hear like lightning strike, and like it shakes. Your, like I was watching with the headphones on, and it just shook my head, and then the rain starts pouring, and it's just it's beautiful, just yeah. awesome and with the weather coming in. And the wind is like blowing so hard that the rain's like coming in sideways across the map. It looks yeah, it looks awesome, but uh. Having the dynamic weather actually affects the waves, which is awesome. You know, when you're swimming, when the waves hit, you actually get, like, thrown underneath the water by the waves. Like, the waves will actually, like, you know, push you down, and you're, like, underneath the water for a second. You see the guys, like, trying to struggle to get back to the top. It, it looks it looks awesome, but I have to say they didn't do a great job on the underwater detail. I can understand why they didn't, but it would have been nice for... Especially when he's, like, at eye level with the water surface. It's, like, a grey kind of flat surface it doesn't really look but you know it's I, i'd imagine it's hard to, to put detail into something when they're trying to make the waves identical for everyone so you know when there's a wave for someone there's a wave for everyone you know it's not like battlefield 3 where the water was just kind of like there for you like that but uh yeah it does look pretty good yeah it does and i understand once again it's like when you're underwater it's just kind of a look blue everywhere but then again yeah. you know it's not I like did, it matters <laughs> i did see a really cool part where a guy drove a quad into the water and when he, like, got launched off the quad because he hit the water, he got, like, pushed in underneath the water and he, like, came kind of flying back up. It was awesome. Yeah. But we did get to see some new game modes at uh, Gamescom as well, Dan. Yes, we did. Uh, first of all, the most uh, famous one is Obliteration, which everyone will hate me for saying this, but, you know, you can pretty much compare it to a sabotage-type game mode where there's uh, one bomb, both teams are trying to get it and uh, kind of destroy the other people's things. And to go into kind of how this plays, so it's like each team has three things that need to be blown up. And, uh, it's, see, a lot of people, Dave, was actually talking about this, a lot of people thought it was going to be like Rush, where it's like you blow one up and then you move up, blow the next one up. It's like you have to like have an order, but it's literally to where you can pick up the bomb as your team and you can go to any of the objectives, any of the three, and blow it up. So it doesn't matter what order. You just, whoever blows up the most objectives is, is kind of how it's playing. Um, yeah. And it, it doesn't look like the objectives, you know where they are until you, your team has the bomb by the looks of things. Maybe yeah. they're on the map when you get close to them, but from a distance, you know, you don't see them until the marker comes up, what it looks like. And probably worth mentioning is the bomb is a random spawn. It's not a set spawn, so you can't, you know, you're not gonna have people sitting there waiting for the bomb to spawn back when another team blows it up. I also, I don't know why I love this. It's seriously the dumbest thing to love, but I love the fact too that say you like plant the bomb on the objective, when it blows up, it kills anyone in the vicinity, like an actual yeah, yeah, bomb that, now. That's really good. It's I hope not, they bring that over to Rush as well. Yeah, it's not like, you know, when you play Rush, you like plant this bomb on the MCOM, it blows up and you're like, Ah, uh, not a scratch. You know, like, like yeah. this This is a bomb. Blew up that wall in a fucking MCOM, but I'm fine. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't worry, bro. Another thing to mention, though, is uh, that 
the detonation time on these bombs is like fucking instant. You put them on and it's like blows up like 10 seconds there. Which you know, I guess I guess makes sense with the fact that there are three objectives that each team has to have. You know, they don't want the game mode to take an hour. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, so I guess that makes sense. So it's more about defending your bomb placements than it is, oh, we'll just, you know, defuse. kill the guys and defuse it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to stop the plant in the first place, which I kind of like. Uh, rather than, you know, oh, it's like, because in Rush, on Battlefield 3 anyway, I noticed a lot of the time it's like, oh, they plant the bomb, run back, kill them, defuse, go back. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, I like it. I like the sound of it. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, the next game mode is Domination, which is basically Conquest Domination. They're bringing that to Battlefield 4 as a release day game type. It's no longer, you know, a DLC type thing. It's a official Battlefield 4 game type. Um, it's going to be a little different in the fact that they aren't going to have their own maps, obviously, because they're not DLC this time, but instead it's going to do kind of what Team Deathmatch does in Battlefield 3, where the maps, you're just going to have a smaller version of the map. So say you're playing Domination on Parasol Storm, it might just take place on one of the islands, you know? Um, something like that. So, you know, we'll see how that plays. I didn't like Conquest Domination, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't how, see that we'll see how it works on this one. Maybe on yeah. console that might be big, but on PC that no one's gonna play that. I don't think. Yeah, uh, and then the That's last fun. one, we don't have any information on this at all. I just saw it in um, on a. I could have swore it was an official Battlefield post, but don't quote me on that. And it was a picture of each of these game modes, and the third one said diffuse, and it basically. I mean, once again, don't quote me, but it basically described search and destroy. Is pretty much what it what it described. There was no response. Um, the two teams playing against each other for an objective. Like it's it sounded like search and destroy. So we don't have any information on that. I mean, even the title diffuse. You know, obviously has something to do with a bomb. So we'll see we'll see how this turns out. We don't want, we don't really know anything, but just keep your eye out for this diffuse. Yeah, it game seems mode. It, it seems like they're pushing for the the kind of that's going to be their competitive game mode for esports because it seems like they're pushing for that this time around. Which like. Yeah, they're pushing it hardcore with uh, quite a few ways, but uh. Dave, we found out a couple new gadgets that you can carry around on your soldier. How about you go into that? Yeah, so they've added some a V40 mine, and from what Dan has found out, anyway, he's done some research on it. It's pretty much just a mini grenade. So kind of like if anyone has played um, Medal of Honor Warfare, terrible game by the way, don't play it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was mini grenades in that, and like you could, you know, you could throw three or four of them at a time. But I don't think they're going to do that in, in Battlefield. I think what's going to happen is you're going to be able to carry more than one grenade, or even, you know, two grenades with the special grenade perk or whatever it's called, the specialism. But uh, I think what you're going to be able to do is carry more mini grenades, you're going to be able to throw them further, but they're going to have a smaller blast radius. That's that's my theory on it, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see what dice do. But they've added uh, impact grenades that explode on impact, you know, pretty much straightforward. Smoke grenades. No way. Oh, smoke grenades! Smoke grenades they I'm, do I'm smoke. really happy about that because <laughs> I always hated to having to sacrifice my medikit to turn on the M320 with the smoke. That was really annoying. Now I can just have smoke, which to me makes a lot more sense because now I can have my smoke grenade and still have my medipack. Yeah, I never even thought about that. That's actually an amazing upgrade. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why one, I didn't think about that. That's one of the main reasons why I never used to use smoke because it's like, oh god, I have to give my medipack. But uh, they also added flares, which. We don't really see any point in, but Dan did make a good point where if it blinds people that have night vision on, that would be really cool for, you know, lighting up dark areas. But if someone comes in with night vision, they get blinded because, you know, night vision flares fucking too bright. But uh, <laughs> Thank you for that anagram or whatever right there. <laughs> Wrong word, but thank you. Yeah, but uh, we, we did notice some other stuff from it, um, but not, not all the stuff we noticed is confirmed. This is just stuff me and Dan have been scene and we've talked about it a little bit so some of the camos on the vehicles i think that's confirmed as well as which is really this is really cool i ho really hope they do this well is you can bring your emblem from battle log and put it onto your onto your vehicle yeah and there's so even whatever, a there's even a rumor going around that you might be able to put it on your gun um I, I don't give a fuck about that i think it looks a lot cooler on the vehicle i'm just saying um they're they're really pushing this uh battle log connectivity thing and i think this emblem is one of the ways they, they want you they really want you to connect your uh battle log to your account I, I don't really like the camels on your vehicles though to me that's like eh, you know it's, it's it's i guess it's not unrealistic but it's a as long as they don't do some stupid shit where you can put like fucking blue tiger and camo and stuff on them or like diamond camo yeah 
as long as it's like you know military camels like you know desert and forest and you know like what the, the camels they had for your soldiers in battlefield 3 i'll be fine with i just see that looking really weird like i see myself standing on the beach in parasol storm and my friend hops in a boat and then the boat just transforms to have a different camo and then like what if he gets shot out of it does the camo go away and then if another guy hops into it does that camo pop up like yeah and, I, and I whose camo shows if the guy's on the is, is it the driver's camo or the gunner's camo or yeah it, i don't know I, it really confuses me but we'll see how it works i guess yeah. Um, so we've seen, we don't know if this is an official list, but we've seen from the Gamescom footage, we've seen about 10 knives. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, there's going to be a lot more knife choices in this one. It's not just you get the normal knife and then the um, premium knife. You, there's a bunch of knives. We've seen a machete. We've seen a bowie knife, a scout knife. We've seen a uh, like a, one of those, uh, like the knife that, uh, like the Ranger Rambo knife that Ra uh, Rambo uses. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that's called. But we've seen a bunch of different knives in here. Um, I hope they they bring in um, different knife, knife animations for different different knives. Like I hope the machete doesn't have the same animation as a fucking bowie knife because there's like a big difference between sticking a, a bowie knife in someone's chest and a machete in someone's <laughs> chest. Yeah, yeah, good luck you with know, that. I, I did notice though. I don't know if this was just me. I, I was pretty tired watching it. But there was I know there's a knife with like you know it has the knuckle busters on it and then a knife sticking out the side. I didn't notice. He punched the guy. And then stuck the knife in his chest. I don't know if that's a different knife animation for that knife, or is that just going to be a new animation altogether? Yeah, I, I don't know. I really hope, obviously, that they have more animations. Like, like what he was just saying with the machete. It truly would not make any sense for someone to take a machete and just stab someone through the chest with it. Like, oh, that yeah, doesn't make any sense. Machete that's not is like machetes decapitation. Do. You know, you slap, slap yeah. you cut someone's throat with it. You know, that's yeah. that's what you do. But uh, I hope also that what you know what the counter knife system. It seems to be that the counter knife is better than the normal knife. You know, it, it's better not to knife people and just counter knife people because any any time I've seen anyone knife anyone, they get counter knife nearly every time. I've I don't think I've actually seen anyone even you know come up behind someone knife them without that other person counter knife them. Yeah, I've seen it, but not a lot. And also. Yes. Um, with the, with the counter knife, I've never seen anyone not successfully counter knife. Like whenever someone counter knifes, it's a guaranteed kill for them. From what I've seen, it doesn't seem like there's any way to counter the counter knife. So like, if you try to knife someone, they counter you. It's just an instant kill for them. So well, I, well, well, what do you do then? It's like knife them, counter knife, counter knife, counter knife. Counter yeah, knife. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just saying. It's just I don't know. It seems so weird. Um, and there's this there's this thing going around in the Battlefield community that Dave and I both uh, uh, agree with a lot. I think it's a genius idea is uh, having the button instead of just having F, have it a random button each time. So like you get you to counter knife you have to hit A and then you have to hit T and then you know it's just a different button every time. I think that would massively improve that system. Yeah, that'll be a lot better. My biggest problem with it is is that they made it F. So if you're in a knife fight. You know, you're spamming F. So if that guy does manage to get, you know, whoever actually gets to do the animation automatically loses. Because the other because person's still Because the other person's F. already, you know, <laughs> pressing F to try and knife you. There's a counter instantly because the other person's already pressing it. Yeah. That's my biggest problem with it. It's a good point. Uh, it's a really good point. Dave, what do you feel about the six axis? Yeah, uh, they mentioned on, uh, it was actually a Jack Frags video. So, you know, credit him. That I noticed it anyway. I don't know where you've seen it then. But the, there's a leaning system about for four now, and it seems to be kind of just that, you know, you aim, and he, he automatically looks over stuff, which I like. It's if anyone has played Red Orchestra, it's kind of like that. Great but system. Apparently now with the PlayStation Four, it will be on the controller. So I don't know. Say you want to lean over something, you might have to lean the controller forward a little bit, or you know, you want to lean to the right, you lean the controller to the right, and he'll actually, you know, lean out. But uh, yeah, that's cool. I I don't see myself using it a lot because meh, lean, you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> I hope as long the one problem I have with this kind of lean thing is I hope it doesn't make people you know when you're behind cover they just lean up a little bit and it makes their head impossible to see. I yeah. hope when when they lean up they actually stand up from behind the cover. You know? Cuz otherwise I could make head glitch and very overpowered. I guess so. It just depends how they do it. Like I mean like you mentioned with Red Orchestra they do it right. You know? Oh yeah, they do perfect. So you know, it just depends how they do it. We just have to yeah. see if they do it right. And um, I'd love like blind fire from cover as well. That would be awesome. But you'd again, get pissed off when you got killed by it. Though. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, I know. But <laughs> at, at the same time, Battlefield doesn't really have a cover system. So how do you do it? Yeah, you know, I, it's not gonna happen. Um, yeah. Uh, another really cool fact that has been. Uh, uh, announced. Uh, I don't remember where I first saw this from, but once again, Jack Frags did do a video about this. Is there's actually a tier reloading now, 
where it's just an awesome system where say I am reloading my assault rifle and I pull my magazine out. Then an enemy turns the corner so I swap for my pistol, take him out with my pistol and swap back to my assault rifle. My magazine is still out of my gun. I'm already halfway done with the reload animation and all I have to do is stick the magazine back in. So it's just an incredibly useful thing for um, what reload cancel. It pretty much... Uh, eliminates that problem of you canceling your reload because you have to do something else, you know? Um, I just, I love that system. I'm sure Dave's excited about it because he constantly yeah, uh, <laughs> gets yeah. killed for that. <laughs> yeah, I get killed a lot for reload. But it, it does seem like that if it's kind of a, a step thing. So if you're in the middle of pulling your mag out, you know, but you don't get it out all the way, and then you switch the pistol, I imagine the mag will be back in. Yeah, probably. Or if you're in the middle of reloading, you know, you have the mag out, you're about to put the other one back in, you, or you have the other one back in, but you don't have a cock yet, I'd imagine that, and you switch your pistol and come back, I imagine it, you have to put the mag back in again. I, I'd imagine there's limits to it, you know, it's yeah. not going to start exactly, because it wouldn't make sense if you have the mag in your hand and then you switch your pistol, you know, if you're, like, you only have your hand on the mag pulling out and then you switch your pistol to your guy, like, oh, Magley has the, the mag out then when you go back. No, yeah. Uh, I, I get that. There, it's probably like a three-step process, and you have to finish one step in order to start on the next one. Like, yeah, it, it's yeah. probably something like that. Um, awesome little fact about the uh, supply drop that the commander can call in. Can now You can now customize your kit in it to where this is just an amazing idea to where now you can't be... You don't have to worry about being an, uh, a medic on a map where you, all of a sudden you need to switch to engineer. Oh, there's a tank here. I need to switch to it. I guess I'll commit suicide so that I can take this tank out. You can finally switch in-game yeah, to another class. To. Just a great, great system. You can get your commander to just drop stuff down. That's that's pretty cool, but they did show off some new uh, new map stuff for uh, at Gamescom. They showed off a map where you can cut the power, and they showed off some night vision, and they showed a map where there's a flooded city. And Dan, Dan has mentioned to me that they said that you can flood the city. I haven't seen this. Well, I don't think they actually showed any footage. Have they, Dan? Of, 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 the of them actually flooding the city? No. They've no. just announced that you can. But yeah, that the cutting the power to me is awesome. Like, it really brings in stuff like the tactical light that they've brought in, which we mentioned in our last video. Go watch it. Shame as <laughs> fuck. Uh, that, you know, the light only comes on when you do the tactical, you know, when you're ADS. So, you know, you're not giving away your position the whole time by walking around with your flashlight on, but you want to check a corner put your ads on you know you can see I really seriously like the more i hear about that the more badass it sounds i love that idea <laughs> yeah um they've also uh one thing on parasol storm that we saw was that there are like these uh special weapons on it to where i'm sure a lot of people have seen this by now but just to mention it it's kind of like it's almost like a halo type thing where it's like you have these power weapons on the map to where like there's one where on top of a tower is like a 50 cal sniper rifle and uh, when you get that weapon, you can pick it up, and I think it's a one-shot kill no matter what, Dave, right? Yeah, the 50 cal is a one-shot kill no matter where you hit him, and you can range it, and it looks... You can spam it pretty fast, too, but it looks like... But they did balance it well, because I'm pretty sure they have a good respawn time on it, you know, and you can't get ammo back for it. Yeah, you, you just have, like, it's like 20 bullets or something, and then that's it. You can't use yeah. it anymore, so... Um, that's cool though. There was also really quick a USAS with frag rounds. Um, yeah, I love one. how they take it out of the game altogether and bring it back as a special weapon. That's yeah, how I overpowered know, right? that shit was from Battlefield <laughs> 3. At least they've realized the USAS was overpowered. They're just like, fuck yeah, yeah. it, it's a super weapon now. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it did look pretty weak from the footage I've seen of the USAS. It literally just looks like for destruction purposes now with the frag rounds. Yeah. It's for taking walls down and stuff. Yeah, making flank routes. Yeah. A uh, couple more just minuscule facts that they've pointed out. Uh, they pointed out they really seem to make a big point because they've been talking about Levolution a lot, right? It's like you can bring down skyscrapers and crash boats into things, but then they're like, it's also the little Levolution that matters, like how you can shoot a fire extinguisher and blind people, you know? And uh, I, I think that's cool. I just hope it works better than it did in Close Quarters because if you played Close Quarters, you could shoot the fire extinguishers and they'd like poof the smoke out. But it wouldn't really do anything. It would just be like, oh, look, a poof. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, God, I'm blind. You know? Like, <laughs> so. It's like, I, I can't fire through this one. The guy that's down the hallway is spotted with a huge triangle over his head. Yeah, so I'm hoping it, it makes more of an impact because they're really focusing on it. They're like, oh, the little levolution. So I hope it's like, at least the fire extinguishers do something. I'm really hoping. Uh, they We've already talked about in our last video, another little thing is that the RPG can now lock on to things that are laser, de laser designated. Um, it's a cool little fact. Uh, we just have a couple more things, Dave. You wanna you wanna talk about yeah. some? I know there's some that, you you found out actually. Yeah, there's some stuff about um, if someone snipes you in the leg, you'll in from the person that snipes you view, 
it would look like you trip or kind of stumble. But in your view, as far as we can tell, it just seems to be, you know, you get a little, like, push to the side or something like that. But it looks it looks pretty cool from, like, the sniper's point of view. It looks like, you know, if he actually hits someone, it's having an effect on them rather than just like, oh, I just got a 50 cal bullet in the leg. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'll still spread full speed. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's actually something that was in our wish list was that we wanted more animations. And, like, I can tell you just from what I've seen, it's like... Man, did they deliver. Like, not only stuff like that where it's like you get hit with a sniper bullet in, your guy, in the leg and your guy kind of trips, but, like, I can tell you from what I've seen at Gamescom, the death animations are such an improvement over Battlefield 3. Like, when someone gets shot and they die, it looks like they're getting shot and dying, like the way their body falls to the ground and everything. I love it. It's beautiful. I just wanted to bring that up. I seriously am in love with the the rag doll and everything, but yeah. continue. Uh, they can uh, slide C4 now as well, which looks looks like... It slid up pretty far. I don't know how to feel about it. It was like, oh, they can slide C4. Holy shit, he slid it's that like still 10 going. minutes. still <laughs> going. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 10 minutes later. It's like on halfway across, across the Caspian border. It's like, fuck. Yeah. Damn, Boom. man, that's, that's, that's some troll. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'd imagine they'll balance that a little bit better though. You know, I, I wonder what kind of surfaces can it slide on. Like, I wonder, does it have to be on like a road or, yeah. you know, what way does that work? Just bounce it on the water like a stone. Whoosh, skimming across yeah, from island to island. It's like making montages of it. But uh, I noticed as well, uh, you can have more than one attachment on handguns. I don't know what, you know, if there's going to be a limit on which attachments you can put on. But I've seen someone with a laser, you know, the under barrel laser for better hit back fire accuracy. And they had like the improved iron sights with the red circle thing around it. Yeah, red and I know, Yeah, yeah, whatever that. And uh, I noticed someone had a shotgun secondary. It did look extremely weak though. And from what I noticed, you only had three shells in the chamber at a time, if you know what I mean. So, you know, with the 870 in Battlefield 3, you have five. And like, when you fire all five, then you have to do the reload animation of, you know, you flip the gun over, put one in, and flip it back over and start loading the rest of them. But it looked like it only had three shells. And it looked like it was taking at least two shells to kill someone, even pretty close up, unless it was like a headshot. So it did look like they did a good job of balancing it, even while putting better secondaries in for, you know, people that don't want to use the pistol. Which is interesting because shotguns, from what we've seen from Gamescom footage, it looks like shotguns are a primary. Um, so that's going to be interesting if you can have a shotgun primary and secondary. Like I didn't even think of that. Well, you could still do that. You could do that in uh, Battlefield 3 with the fucking M320. Oh, yeah, I guess you could. I just, I've just never used it. <laughs> so I guess you could, though. Um, two more little things I wanted to mention. We're wrapping this up here uh, because we hadn't really mentioned it too much was uh, about the water. How, first of all, guys, you can have, I'm sure everyone knows this by now, but you can have your pistol out in the water now. That's, that's really cool. There's actually a way to defend yourself while you're in the water. And the second one is it's uh, there's been some footage of as a support or a recon, you can actually pull your C4 out while in the water and like put it on enemy boats and then oh, like, blow it up. Yeah, so that's awesome. The fact that you can yeah, like go Navy cool. SEAL on them, like, <laughs> that's cool. But uh, we just wanted to list. We had just, just this big list here we've been trying to save up over the uh, couple days of all these little facts we wanted to get out. I'll try to have footage for everything. We'll see what we can... Uh, what we can find, but we just wanted to get all this information out for you. Dave, did you have anything else you wanted to mention? I'm not sure. No, no, I think we covered pretty much everything we wanted to talk about. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had anything on your mind, but uh, we wanted uh, we wanted to thank you guys for watching. We hope you learned a couple things that you didn't know before. I know uh, I just learned something. Like, Dave just learned something about C4 he didn't know, so you know, there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's always stuff like that, so I hope you learned something. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. You can subscribe to our channel to see more, like the video uh, if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next video.